Good afternoon. Imagine listening to me speak and not being able to follow along because you're deaf or hard of hearing. This is something that plagues 35 million Americans and is a huge problem in universities. So with that in mind, one of the big problems, I'm going to talk about universities and then the students. For universities, averagely it costs $24,000 to $48,000 annually per student to provide the current services. Not only that, they have to dedicate resources and personnel to be able to help these students. And many times it takes two to three months in advance to be able to actually plan out these schedules. Now the problem for students, so those that are deaf and hard of hearing, they have to depend on others to be able to learn and participate. Not only that, many of the resources that they are provided right now, for example, it, here at BYU, it requires two transcribers per one student in one class. And it also requires a lot of bulky hardware. And one of the biggest issues, not to mention these other issues, is that they are singled out as different. They are, they are feeling like they aren't part of the overall community and have to, have to actually go through jumps and hoops to be able to participate. With that in mind, the solution that we are providing is Speech Cloud, which is a, uh, is a transcription and voice recording platform. What it does is it allows students to be able to no longer depend on other people to help them. It also allows them to no longer depend on that bulky hardware and schedules. For universities, it's the same concept as they no longer have to dedicate resources and tons of money towards these services to be able to help them. So with that in mind, I'm gonna show a video of currently how our process works. And I'm just gonna jump right into it. Software works by streaming the audio from the presenter's mic through the cloud to the user's tablet, laptop, or phone. Many users may use the product simultaneously, not limited by their device. The audio that is sent to the user's device connects to their hearing aids, allowing them to hear the teacher as if they are three to six inches away. The audio is then transcribed to text so that the user not only has the direct audio, but can follow along with a live transcription. Perfect. So what we do, based off of what you just saw, is we just take what's already provided in classrooms and presentations such as this. The microphone connects to either the user or the presenter's hardware, which is streamed to the cloud and then accessible on any of your devices. You just pull out your phone, connect your hearing aids, be able to follow along with the live transcription as well. So this is what we've been developing. With that in mind, our market are universities. So I'll break into the other market as well, but currently our market consists of 4,140 140 institutions. Um, that's 20,000 plus deaf and hard of hearing students every year. Now, not only that, as we've been developing the software, we've had multiple people to ask to use our software in churches, government meetings, conventions, in K through 12 schools. The market is broad. And to explain further on, on why the market is wanting this feature is we've been testing with BYU and UVU and currently have transcribers and students using this product you know, every single week. And by August, UVU, if we meet the criteria, will become our first customer. Hi, my name is Emily. So what I want to show to you now is one of our users. Her name is Emily. She's a current student here at BYU. She uses Speech Cloud every single week in her classrooms, and she's going to give her testimonial about her experience as a hard of hearing person as well as her experience with Speech Cloud. Hi, my name is Emily. I'm a college student studying communication. When I was born, I was diagnosed with bilateral moderate to severe hearing loss. And back in the 1990s, this meant that I would probably not be able to go to a mainstream school. When I came to college, I learned that there was a University Disabilities Accessibility Center, and I registered with them, and they had many services to offer. Uh, they had services from 
translating, transliterating, everything I'd had before, FM systems, but like before, I just didn't feel comfortable using them because I felt like they singled me out as a deaf person, and I, I wasn't comfortable with that. So when I heard about Speech Cloud, I was just so excited because I couldn't believe that it was the fabrication of what I had, I had always dreamed of. You know, technology has come so far in the last 20 years, but I just wanted something that could give me a live captioning service in a classroom setting. That's all I ever wanted. It really is a service that takes care of the disability that we have. It gives us hearing. And it's so interesting because we have hearing aids, we have cochlear implants, but this kind of bypasses the issue that we're trying to put a band-aid on. Speech Cloud just takes care of hearing for us. Great thing about Speech Cloud is that I can use it in my classes easily, simply follow along. I catch on to things that I don't know that I'm missing out on. And it's a service that I've always dreamed of, but it's just never existed. And so I guess you can say that Speech Cloud is like my dream come true. So Speech Cloud is changing lives. We are leveling the academic playing field. Thank you. Questions? My apologies. Yes. Yes, Mark, we're demonstrating the challenges of not having adequate sound, uh, as you effectively did when the sound was coming up in the beginning. My question is what is the differentiating factor, both in terms of the technology and in terms of the legal patent position uh, that will, uh, uh, that distinguishes you from the other solutions that are presumably out there. Sure, no, great question. So regarding the patent, we currently are patent pending, um, working on getting a provisional patent for our process. With that in mind, what differentiates us is a great example is what's currently provided is called an FM system. What it does is it amplifies whatever is being said by the speaker directly to the user. Now that's very individualized, only it's a one-on-one, -on -one. only one per person can use it. By taking whatever is said by the presenter, taking it through the cloud, every single person in this audience could pull up their phone and be able to just connect their hearing aids or follow along on their phone. So that's, that's what makes us different. It's all cloud-based, multiple users. Great question. How do you handle classroom discussion? That's a wonderful question. So we haven't been focused as much on K through 12, which is more predominantly is discussion based. Our focus is lectures um, at the start because it is just speaker as within then the audience. But we currently on our version four, we have the capability to record six people at a time and are looking into an omnidirectional microphone that the student can just hold and be able to point towards the person that is speaking. So great, great question, thank you. What's, what's the uh, dollar value of the market that you're looking at? Wonderful question. So, based off of what I showed earlier, it costs you know, $24,000 to $48,000 per student. Where we're hoping to come in is more of a $20,000 or $20, $20 an hour, because that's, that's basically how the current structure is run, is they pay people to go into classrooms to events like these, to transcribe and translate. So the cost structure of what universities currently pay is at the base is around 100 to 200,000 annually. We're looking at being able to provide it for 50,000 to 100,000 dollars annually. One more question: um, Are you hunting a lot of the transcription to a particular cloud API, or have you guys developed that tech yourself? It's a great question. So the demo that you saw, what we've been showing and using is just using a browser API for the cloud, no cost, but we're pumping it through the AWS API and then building and making our own iterations on it. Great question, thank you. Great, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Speech Cloud! Thank you!